ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Guns and Gears. It's the end of the day. We're starting at the end. Uh, this is Eric McBride with the Diesel Hot Rod Association. This is Dan Fight with the Diesel Hot Rod Association. And gentlemen, where are we and what have we been doing? Boy, we, we've just had a non-stop day, all day long. We got, a, we, got, we got on the track at 9 o'clock, the sun's setting now. At least we didn't have to turn on some lights, Johnny. But we had some of the best diesel drag racing that I've seen ever. Eric, where are we? We're in Baytown, Texas at the famed Houston Raceway Park uh, at the 2005 DHRA Noel Thomas World Finals. World Finals. And what we're going to show you is some tremendous, got one move out Pro Street as we go. Unbelievable racing, huh, folks? Absolutely. We had our world finals from our DHRA Diesel Power Drag Racing Series. The contestants came from California, from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and from Michigan for the title for ET brackets, and it was our last Pro Street, DHRA Pro Street final also. And let's see if people want more information on what the DHRA is doing. How can they find that, Dan? They can always find us, and they can get us at www.dhraonline.com. 2006 schedule's going to be up soon, Johnny. We're ready to go for next year. We're doing a lot of things, friends. We're so pleased to be working with these fine folks. Couldn't find nicer people, and you know what? It's only the beginning for diesel motorsports. Am I correct, gentlemen? You, you've got that right, Johnny. And I mean, Guns and Gears, you've been out with us the whole year. And we're just looking forward to next year. It's only going to get better. Only going to get better. Closing words, Eric. Let's roll. Let's do it. Let's find out what we did today. Watch this. Yeah. And we're here in the staging lanes for the Pro Street Shootout with Jeff Prince, closest competitor here this week, still being in the state of Texas, just came over from Corpus. Um, how's the truck doing with, for you today? Uh, not what I expected today. Uh, I had been running nitrous on the truck and it had turned mid tens. Uh, it slowed down. We're running low 11s right now. I've added a little more fuel to it. I'm expecting to hopefully break into the tens again. So what kind of truck are you driving? Well, it's a Dodge one ton dually. Uh, originally it was a dually. I've got big slicks on the back of it now. Uh, it's a daily driver. Um, I ordered the truck brand new and been driving it ever since. Still driving it today even though you've got the race seats and the roll cage in the truck? Drive it every day. As long as it's not broke from running at the track, I run it. What are the Mustangs and the other guys looking at you when they come up next to you at a light? Well, I uh, used to. I could actually get a few of them to try to run me. Um, it seems like nowadays they come up to me and they give me a big thumbs up and uh, they don't want any part of it. They just kind of ease away from the red lights now? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Uh, very few of them really want any piece of it. I run a 1058 at 132 miles an hour. That's really great, especially with a diesel truck, and it makes yeah. those guys look a little bit. Yeah, especially whenever you can drive it around every day. That's right. And we're standing in the pits with Gene Feldens. Gene, you're from Fillmore, California. You came all the way out to run a couple of runs with the yeah, DHRA. We were, yeah, we're hoping to run an 1199 today. Well, and what did you run on, on the track today? Well, our best of the date was an 1151. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm, I know that our uh, viewers are really going to get a great opportunity to see this Ford out there. Why don't you give us a little little talk about what you've done to your Ford here? Uh, basically, it's pretty much stock motor other than injectors have been replaced. It's still got the stock turbo on it. Uh, we run a modified computer program, aftermarket intake, straight pipe exhaust, and uh, probably the four-link suspension in the back is the trick. But it, it really hooked up for you out there on the track during the run. From the times that you've run today, how does it really feel to have the fastest Ford that we know about out here in, in the U.S. and maybe the world? I'm pretty excited. It's, uh, it's a great feeling. It's one of the best highs I've had in a long time. And we're here in the pits with Philip Palmer with a Stucky truck out of Cairo, Georgia, way down far south. How have you done so far in the, in the eliminations on coming up on the truck for the Pro Street this year? We've done pretty good. We um, finished number one in Atlanta, um, set the mile per hour record at 126.21, I believe. Um, best time, I believe, so far is a 10.83 and a quarter. What kind of truck are you driving, Philip? It's a 94 Dodge um, Pro Street diesel truck, 6B Cummins, twin turbo. And how much work? You are a two-wheel drive. You're one of the few two-wheel drives in the class. And you are running just all motor as well, aren't you? Yes. Sir. So no, no alcohol, no nitrous is running in the truck this year? Not at this point. Well, we'll take a look and see what happens next year. Um, 
you did pull the miles per hour win at Atlanta, which was a great success. That is the DHRA record. Do you think you got an opportunity to, to put that record even in the record book one more time today? We're going to try. Give it our best shot. We, like I say, got winner at um, Atlanta and runner-up at Virginia, so we're looking to see what we can do today. And we're here with Earl Talley. Earl, you finished the race off today. You took the world championship, first one for our DHRA Diesel Power Drag Racing Series. How was the, the final run for you? Well, it was just a little lucky, really. You know, I was kind of late on the tree, but I was lucky he was just a little bit later. You know, I got down there and killed the brakes. and stayed above the dial and he broke out. So, just one of them things. It just went my way. Well, that's one thing about bracket racing. You've got to be on be on that dial-in time as well. I know you've got a, a, your crew along here with you, Dennis. I mean, you've done a lot in Pro Street. You've taken this truck and brought it up. How, how was the race season for you this year? Uh, it was a good race season. Uh, everybody, of course, our crew. I mean, it don't happen by yourself. And everybody here done what they're supposed to do. Well, that's good. Earl, who's helped you out with this other than Dennis? Who else is? All of them do. Yeah, I mean, you got the TS Performance guys all, all behind you all the way. I, every one of them. There's guys at home, like the, my boss, Carlos Meredith. You know, he, he keeps, keeps transmissions fixed, and just everybody chips in. It ain't just a one-man thing. Well, that's great. Y'all yeah, have definitely shown what this truck can do and what this what a team can do when it comes to the World Finals. And thank you all for coming down to, to Houston. We look forward to seeing every one of you again yeah. next season. Darren, great day for you. You came in in the, in the points lead. What happened in this final round here? It was great, man. I just uh, I got up there and I wasn't sure, and, and I was really sure all day. And I had the last round, I had some motor some kind of noise that I wasn't sure about, and I was really scared I was going to have the problem. Who are some of these guys that have been helping you out all weekend? Uh, Jeff Garman and David Dunbar, and of course the Stucky Racing Team. We all help each other. Y'all are all from around there, close right. together. So it's it's a little hometown rivalry that we That's had to right. bring all the way to Texas. That's right. From Georgia to get it done. Well, eventually, Johnny, what we would like to do is bring our national events, our lifestyle events, to every corner in the United States, and always end it right here in Houston. And what I would like for tell those folks sitting at home, your fans at Guns and Gears, I know you enjoy what you're watching. We already know that. Come out, meet the racers, meet the polers. If you think it's exciting sitting on your couch watching TV, get out here and you'll see the real excitement. You gotta feel it, smell it, breathe it, love it. Guns and Gears will be back right after these messages. Attention 1911 and AR type rifle fans. If you want the ultimate in quality, reliability, and accuracy, call Les Bear Custom and order the guns America's top shooting professionals prefer. All Les Bear guns are hand fitted and hand finished for the maximum in precision and performance. Also, they offer a full line of custom 1911 and AR rifle parts. Call 309 658 2716, catalog only $2, or go to lesbear.com. At 50 cents a gallon, who cares? At 250 a gallon, everybody cares. Enviromax Plus is a fuel catalyst, not an additive, that improves how fuel burns in your engine, gas or diesel. With Enviromax Plus, you can get up to a 35% increase in fuel mileage, plus better performance, improved emissions, and less engine wear. Call now and get Enviromax Plus. Georgia Arms wants to be your ammo company. They feature a full line of best quality handgun and rifle ammo delivered right to your door at the lowest prices possible. Whether you have a 9mm or a 357 Magnum or a 454 Casul or one of the great 460 rolling guns, they've got your ammo. Maybe you want cowboy action shells or precision plus long range hunting ammo with Nostler Acubon bullets. Maybe you want components to load your own ammo. Well, call them to order 1-800-624-6861 or go online at georgia-arms.com. Run Ford Weekend is an organization developed by Ford enthusiasts to promote Ford drag racing and car show events. Fun Ford Weekend is dedicated to the growth and development of Ford performance. They provide an enjoyable and fun-filled atmosphere for racers and fans. Go to funfordevents.com and check the schedule to see which of the 14 events you can attend this year. How would you like to expand the capabilities of your four-wheeler? 
Any hunter knows that the real work begins after the game is taken. Well, Papaw's Game Loader takes the hardest work out of bringing home the bacon. It's also a great tool to help around the farm and can lift and carry up to 250 pounds. The optional hoist will lift up to 300 pounds. If you'd like to know more about Papaw's Game Loader, call 877-472-7297 or go to papawsoutdoorproducts.com. We're so sure you'll love the DR Field and Brush Mower. We'll send you one to try out on your property for six months risk-free. If you don't agree that the DR is the easiest handling, hardest working field mower you've ever used, we'll take it back and we'll even pay for shipping both ways. Try out a DR Field and Brush Mower for six months risk-free. Call 1-800-354-4440 for further details or visit us online at drfieldbrush.com. We have a couple of guns to introduce to you today that I see as landmark developments. We have a couple of small automatics and we have one here I'm holding in 25 North American Arms, 25 NAA. And these are from the same people who make the little mini revolver we had on the show a while back. And you can see in comparison to the full size 1911, this is really a tiny, tiny gun. It is also in a really high performance new cartridge from North American Arms they developed and we're going to show you how it performs in a few moments. We have a, a slightly bigger brother in 32 NAA or 32 North American Arms and these guns also adhere to the same high standards of quality, the same high standards of workmanship that the little mini revolvers do. In fact these little autos are about the same size as the mini revolver. You know, in many places around our country, it is perfectly legal to carry a concealed handgun. So, you know, we never advocate breaking the law, but in many places we can. And of course, uh, any police officer I've ever talked with has at least one backup gun. I knew of a police officer here in, uh, in Louisiana that actually carried a total of five guns. <laughs> At all times, hey, he's well armed. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, let's show you some of the unique features of these little North American arms guns. This is called the Guardian in 25 NAA, and friends, to me, this is a landmark gun because it is completely safe carried in uh, concealment. And North American Arms has a number of different types of holsters and ways to carry these guns, but it is double action only and it takes a pretty, pretty good pull on the trigger. It's not just going to go off by itself. You've definitely got to pull that trigger, although it's not objectionably hard. And the sights are rudimentary, but at the ranges that these guns are designed to be uh, functional, well, that's really not much of an issue. This is the takedown lever here, and so well made, so nicely finished. You have a six round magazine, comes out like this, and also there's an option for a finger groove. This may be a little small for some people's hands or to get a better grip on it. Some may want the uh, finger groove or the little uh, base plate there on the magazine so you can get a little firmer grip, a little more confidence maybe there in the grip. But these are so well made and friends, this could be the gun that, that you could always have with you. This could be the gun that would help you survive in a very bad situation. We're looking at ammunition now. This is a 25 ACP, or little 25 auto here on the left. And this is a 32 H&R Magnum. Well, what the folks at North American Arms did, they took the 32 ACP, which is about this diameter here, and they necked it down to 25, and this is what you get the 25 NAA, and what we are seeing here is performance uh, that is just unbelievable, almost like a 22 Magnum in this little tiny gun, the 25 NAA Guardian. Now, next in line is the little 25 NAA, slightly bigger brother. This is the Guardian N32 NAA, and it's just a little bit bigger. This one even is ported on the barrel to release or to reduce recoil, but let's take a look at the cartridge for this gun. Now this is a 380, and again our 32 H&R Magnum, so what the folks at North American Arms did was they necked down this cartridge to fit this bullet size 
And what we have here is a very high performance a cartridge called the 32 NAA or 32 North American Arms. Let me tell you, these things are for real too. Well, let's try the little guns through the chronograph and see what sort of velocities these cartridges give. Now friends, this is really amazing performance. 1165 feet per second out of this tiny, tiny gun. It equals fully or surpasses the 22 Magnum, which is a terrific combination in this mini revolver. Certainly the full equal of the 22 Magnum out of the small revolver. Very, very potent uh, for such a small package. Now let's go ahead and try the little 32 NAA through the chronograph. See what it does. Now friends, that's 1,070 feet per second with a 71 grain bullet out of the little uh, Guardian. And I tell you what, that is better than 380 performance from such a tiny, tiny gun. Serious firepower for its size. A very, of course, efficient, compact size. Uh, phenomenal for the power level this thing has. And the edges have been smooth uh, for better concealed carry. Really a neat little package. Let's go ahead. We've got our target out here. And let's go ahead and take some shots. Load it there. And let's see what it'll do. Friends, again, fantastic performance from the little North American arms guns. Uh, this is four and less than an inch. And, of course, I've got one out here a little further away. But let me tell you, that is unbelievable performance. Again, for the power level this tiny gun has. Well, just for fun, since we're here, well, let's run an experiment. We've got a 45 auto here with a round nose 45 uh, auto cartridge that people have carried all through wars all around the world and all a lot of people still carry for self-defense and we've got our little North American Arms Guardian 25 NAA a couple of identical water bottles here just for fun since we're here take a look okay we have our water bottle here on the right let's shoot it with our 45 put a nice hole in it all right, we had just had one in the magazine. Now let's try our little Guardian 25 NAA. See what it does. Well, rather impressive, wouldn't you think? Now friends, that's rather shocking if you ask me. Again, full 22 Magnum performance out of the little gun and no I'm not saying it's more powerful than a 45 auto but I am saying that these are tremendous uh, cartridge gun combinations especially for the size that they are for more information on the North American Arms product lineup call them at 800-821-5783 or find them on the internet at naaminis.com stay tuned we'll be right back after these messages You know, friends, a lot of times people ask me, Johnny, does the Envirimax Plus really work? Well, we ran an experiment. This is a Thunderbird V6, Ford Thunderbird 3.8 fuel-injected V6. And recently, I had a chance to drive this car on an 1,100-mile trip. I checked the mileage extensively before I left. This car gets 25 miles per gallon at 50,000 miles on the odometer, which is real good for a car like this. The only change we made, no tune-up, no nothing, we put the Enviromax Plus in the tank at the beginning of the trip. At my second fill-up, which was about 500 miles or so into the trip, the car was getting over 30 miles per gallon. Friends, that's a 20% increase. So yes, I'm very pleased to report that's my personal experience. This is great stuff. Friends, Johnny Rowland here, and we have shown you, and we know diesel pickup trucks from Ford, General Motors, and Dodge 
can go very fast in a straight line. But consider this. What if we ran them on a round or oval track? What would happen? Who knows? We think this is the most exciting thing to come along since Richard Petty learned how to turn left really fast. Announcing the Diesel and Truck Racing Association, or DATRA, in cooperation with and sanctioned by the Diesel Hot Rod Association. That's right, Diesel Pickup Truck Racing on an oval track. You heard it here first. Now, we're writing the rule book now, and we plan to start racing in 2006. If you're interested in participating, contact us through our website, gunsandgears.tv, and click on DATRA. Stay tuned for more details. Stay tuned for more Guns and Gears. The 2005 Specialty Equipment Marketing Association Show, or the SEMA Show, in Las Vegas, Nevada, is so big we couldn't possibly get it all in one program. So here is more of our coverage on some of the most interesting things we came across. Just remember, if you can imagine it, it's probably here on display. Check it out. We're here at the Airflow Research booth talking with Tony Mamo. And Tony, tell us who you are, how you got in the custom head business, sir. I uh, built a flow bench many years ago. I was uh, just been an enthusiast all my life and an uh, engine builder on the side, kind of like most of us doing working out of their garage and <clears throat> built a flow bench and really got consumed with Airflow. and. Spent a bunch of time on a big block Chevy head and uh, started thinking, man, I could market this idea. And uh, talked with uh, Rick Sperling, the owner of this company, and uh, here I am today doing the design work for this uh, company, which I love, and it's been uh, very good for me. Well, nobody has a better industry reputation than Airflow Research. Now, what all, what products do you make now? Our current product line is our 23-degree uh, small block Chevy, which we're actually revamping uh, right now. We've got a new product coming out in the next couple of months, real exciting. Uh, that's been their stable for a very long time, where, they're st where they started. Uh, in the mid-90s, they launched a small block Ford product line, which uh, also very popular, has done extremely well, as a lot of Ford guys are out there racing and running hard. Um, I came on board here in 2000 uh, to design their big block Chevy product line, which we now have, that's been doing 
extremely well. And uh, we launched an LS1 product line about a year ago for the Gen 3 small block, Corvette, F bodies, etc. That's been doing very well as well. Well, now the Gen 3 engine is really taken off among the specialty uh, applications. People use them in everything from sand rails to dragsters to land speed. And when you bolt on your head over a stock, say LS type head, what are the horsepower advantages? Uh, good question. Uh, real exciting. We've got uh, two heads. We've got a 205 cc intake runner and a 225. Uh, an LS6 head, just to give you a, a bearing, is about 210 cc's. So we're actually smaller than an LS6 head out of the box uh, by about 5 cc's, but yet we'll outflow it by 50 CFM. So it's extremely efficient. The air speed's very high. That's how you're getting that smaller port to flow all that air. And uh, the typical gains are 30 to 40 horsepower with no other changes. But when you complement that with a little more camshaft, a little better manifold, headers, etc., it's, qu it's quite exciting, the, the total performance package. And better fuel economy because of how efficient the cylinder head is. Well, I know you folks have done a tremendous amount of development work with a number of the top names in the industry. Sure. Do you plan to do anything with the Mopar Hemi heads? That's a good question. We do. Um, in our future, we've got a small and big block Chrysler Mopar. Uh, we're going to do a big block Ford to complement our small block Ford product line. Uh, we're also going to do a 4.6 liter Ford, the New Deal, at some point in the future, uh, which is, seems as a tremendous amount of demand for that as well. So we've got a lot of things to hit yet, and we're looking forward to it. Exciting stuff. We certainly have great admiration, and, uh, and we just wish you continued success and wish you folks the very best. If someone wants more information on AFR products, how can they get that? Uh, they could either go on our website, which is www www.airflowresearch.com, just spelled out. Uh, they could dial us direct, 818-890-0616. Uh, my extension's 109 if they feel like they'd like to speak to me direct, and more than happy to help you. Well, that's great. Thank you so much, John.